The Owen James Report is brought to you by JMMB. If you're serious about saving, you deserve JMMB. Donna! Hi, Sophie! I brought my friend to set up her plan. Donna, Hi. Hi. Yeah. it's been so wonderful. <laughs> From the moment we walked in, I felt really at home. I'm my glad. financial planner was so easy to talk to. She understands me and know what I want. I feel like she really wants me to achieve my goals. It's easy. I am happy. You deserve people who really stand for you. You deserve JMNV. Welcome to the family. If you're serious about saving, you deserve JMNB. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Victoria Mutual Building Society says it uh, charges the lowest overall fees among commercial banks and building societies in Jamaica. Now, that assertion comes at a time when Parliament's Economy and Production Committee has been studying an interim Bank of Jamaica report on the matter. In a statement today, Victoria Mutual's President and CEO Richard Powell emphasized that VMBS is the only financial institution that offers ATM services free of charge to its members, regardless of the ATM or point-of-sale terminal used, whether owned by another financial institution institution, including credit unions, on the Multilink network. On the thorny issue of bank charges, including check and cashment fees ranging from $128 to $140 per check, the central bank has promised Parliament a comprehensive report in three months. The OGR understands that only about 50% of financial institutions responded in a timely manner to a Bank of Jamaica survey on the matter. On the foreign exchange market, both the benchmark American dollar and the British pound strengthened against the Jamaican dollar, whilst the Canadian dollar weakened. The greenback advanced by four Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $106.87, whilst sterling jumped by $2.25 Jamaican to close at $177.45. However, the Canadian dollar weakened by 30 Jamaican cents to close at $97.73. News on the Jamaican stock market now and the losses by the big two banking groups, NCB and Scotia, mainly triggered falls in the indices today. The main JC index declined by 304 points or two-fifths of 1%. 21 stocks traded with five advancing, five declining and 11 holding firm. The winners included Caribbean Cement, Lasco Financial Services, Lasco Manufacturing and Scotia Investments. The losers included Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Dolphin Cove, NCB and Scotia Group. Now finally, in our business intelligence feature, the OGR understands that the credit union movement and the Bank of Jamaica could reach an accord within the current financial year on issues associated with moves to have the Bank of Jamaica regulate what has been a self-regulating movement that even escaped the ravages associated with the punishing financial meltdown of the mid to late 1990s. Uh, following over 12 years of talks between the Bank of Jamaica and the credit union movement, we understand that there could be rapprochement on two key issues. A Bank of Jamaica requirement that aggregate unsecured loans be capped at 10% of regulatory capital and the credit union movement's desire to enter the foreign exchange market. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by JMMB. If you're serious about saving, you deserve JMMB.